Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Infra. Last time we made our way through the sewers and discovered that it seems to be backed up in a lot of places. Like, even the regular city infrastructure is, uh, well, not only badly damaged, but also possibly poisoned. We found lots and lots of dead fish in the water supply. I'm suggesting that something is leeching in. And we may have found that something. Well, I guess we already documented how broken that was, but how about how broken this is? Not to mention all this stuff growing down here where it flows through. How much of this are people ingesting? Uh, okay, we got a broken window over there. No return. Although we can maybe climb up there. No, those are all boarded. Uh, there's so much damage, I honestly don't even know where to start. This is totally unacceptable. Every single level of this city's infrastructure that we've been to has been... Well, crumbling almost doesn't describe it. This door is locked. We can probably drop down there, but there's going to be no way back up. Oh, and there's some kind of depth reader over there. Yeah, boop! Ow. Maybe I could have tried landing in the water. Ow. <laughs> and of course, we don't want to get too close to that stuff. Oh, padlock. We probably need to find... You know, Mark, if only you would keep some bolt cutters in your pocket like every other video game protagonist. Oh, we can get through here. Flood doors override. Uh, this panel doesn't appear to actually be powered, but maybe we'll have some ability to mess with it afterwards. Uh, this is collapsed. Bergman. Still eight packs so all of this left. was constructed by Bergman. Wait, there's a brick over here, and it's giving me the instruction to throw. But it doesn't seem like we can quite make it that high. Can't document the nice mess so over here. Left. And down here, we're not going to be finding many batteries, so... <laughs> I'll have to use them sparingly. Now, I have a question. Will this actually work? Because we can throw fuses into the panels... Ah, uh, missed. Can we push a button with a brick? Oh uh, no, that would have been so funny. Or maybe... Yep, nope, it'll just do that. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. We are causing all kinds of our own problems today. Uh, we're not gonna get a picture of that. Alright, what's back here? Bolt cutters! Oh no, we need to... Uh... <laughs> In case of emergency, break glass. Wait, what's in here? I have to explore. Oh, more bricks. What am I doing this for? Ah, I need to explore. <laughs> uh, all right, up here, up here, up here, up here. I've wasted so much time. And that, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, go up. Go over. No, go up and over. Go up and over. You here. No, you here. Oh, uh, Mark, why are you so out of shape? Let's go. Uh, we could climb up here, but why would we want to? Why would we want to? There must be some reason. I lost that brick. Lost that brick. Wait, wait, wait. We can't... Oh, we can run and jump. Yeah. Uh, climb. Climb. I don't think I went the right way. I don't... Oh, uh, maybe I did? Come on. Climb up. Climb up. There we go. Oh, I can only climb up in the place I'm allowed to. Go, go, go. This way, this way. Open flood doors, open flood doors, open flood doors. I wonder if I could have done something if I had gone the other way. There we go. And stop. Does that do anything for me? Oh, we can take a picture of that. I, oh, that's opening! I couldn't even see! Alright, uh, go, go, go. Through here, that's what we needed. Through, through, through.
best employee ever. Uh, just me continuing to do my job even as the city infrastructure collapses around me. Uh, some of the largest examples were caused by me, but we're going to leave that out of the report. That's not just a control room. This is not just a control room. No! No, 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 no. Interesting. No. No. Let's make sure we get all of that. Yeah, Hartman. We're so close now. That cop, Max Caller, will meet Jeff Walter tomorrow, and we'll be able to f we'll be able to follow him. He's gonna lead us straight to his hideout, and that's when we'll strike. I need Eric Kleinman on my side, but I'm not sure about Mikhail Rosenthal. I'm not sure I can trust him enough to reveal my plans to him. He might turn against me. Fortunately, Kleinman is very gullible and has done everything I've asked him to do. <sighs> that nice looking out. He has a very good reason to help me. But Rosenthal is a different case. He has his own reasons to find Walter, so I doubt I can get him to agree with my plans. Tomorrow, the fate of the city will be changed. Uh, in the drawers, no. Nothing. There's a button. Oh my, I can look at all of this individually. Family meeting here. Jeff Walter's parents had two children, Jeff and Anna. Besides Anna, any other relative contact with his cousin? Blah, blah, blah. I can't read some of that. Walter's sister doesn't know where he is, but his cousin said that Walter had visited recently. I'm not sure I can trust him because of his fading memory. I told him I was a very good friend of Walter's, but five minutes later, he had forgotten who he was talking to. He did eventually manage to mutter something about some of his men violently turning against him. When I asked if he knew who these men were, he said they were trying to protect the country and Walter wasn't having it. Does this go even bigger than Jeff Walter? So now it's asking what happened to his business partners. No one seems to know where he is. And it says, never mind, the cousin is dead. He died shortly after talking to Hartman. Blah, blah, blah. I realized how bad a father is something beside me. I can't have good foster family that even... I can't read some of this. It hurts to know that I won't be able to raise him myself, but I'm also relieved that I have a chance to have someone I care about to... S wait, to save someone I care about from Walter's reign of terror. Maybe my son will someday find the truth and think of me as a hero. I should probably investigate Walter's family. So, but, but you said that you lost your child, so I guess that didn't work out for you. What's inside the bunker? Is Walter in there? Every day I wondered whether I was doing the right thing or not. What if I was wrong and Jeff Walter was right? When that metro accident happened, we heard something about a metro accident earlier, didn't we? I finally saw just how evil that man is capable of being. No bodies were ever discovered at the scene of the accident, but I bet it had something to do with Walter, and he somehow managed to hide all the evidence. I need to investigate that incident more. I do know it happened pretty close to Walter's headquarters, which definitely supports my theory. I know a way in there, but I'm not sure I can access the area where the bunker is. There's some rails leading to the bunker, but it's impossible to get there. There's got to be something important in that bunker. And it says, I was right, that bunker is still in use. Look, with this map, we can actually get a pretty good idea of where everything is. There's this hideout, Stahlberg Steel, so we're actually, we must be pretty close to said hideout. All directly adjacent the airport. Uh, the train accident was all the way in that direction. Right by Two Gorges Dam, which is where our co-workers are. <laughs> and you know, I only realized while editing the last part, Two Gorges Dam. It's too... It's too gorgeous. Dam. Alright, uh... What was in that train? Empty storage. Uh... At Walter Storages. Uh, I did find an old diary there. There's a lot of really small little notes. 
The Two Gorges Dam has nothing but sad memories about my company and how everything went and how everything went. Nothing to see here. Uh the NPP nuclear power plant probably doesn't have anything to do with Walter, and without my dam it wouldn't even exist. It was one of my competitors and they won. If they were involved with Walter's plans, I would have known about it. The villa was sold to someone after Stolberg steals bankruptcy. Has nothing to do with Walter, though. So there's a lot of dead ends. Who are you? Some of Bergman's tunnels are in this area. I can use them for whatever purpose I may need. There are also some projects related to Walter and his associates. I have to find a way to sabotage them. So your tunnel was sabotaged. There's also some factory that was bankrupted by Jeff Walter. Okay, that's got to be Stolberg Steel. Uh, the harbors find a way to sabotage Walter Company shipments. So there was a lot of sabotage going on, and not all of it pushing in one direction. You were actually both trying to sabotage each other and the city. Walter's headquarters has some strange tunnels going under it. I've been able to access some of the areas. All I found was a bunch of big, empty halls. Find a way to open the bunker door. There's no way in there. Now what is this? <laughs> Sorry, just uh, casually reading this absolute gold mine before it's buried under the rubble. Max Kohler, leading investigation of Walter's disappearance, has some information at the police station, probably knows where Walter is. Find clues about Xander Berg. Question everyone who might have information about him and where he's located. Uh, this absolute dump of information. I feel like I'm playing like the Pain Creek killings or something. I could move past all of this, but there's vital information here. Not reading all of this is probably why I didn't fully get the story the first time. Kleinman clearly started to doubt my progress. Maybe he knows that I've stopped ser searching for him. I have to find something before it's too late. Finally, I found something very interesting. It was directly above me all along, and I had no idea. Jeff Walter was associated with some small company. I don't know what their business is, but they're still in operation. Whilst, unlike Stahlberg Steel or most other companies under Walter's ownership, they're clearly not in it for the money, though. Whatever it is they're doing there, I'm going to put an end to it. I'll make sure everything, everyone working at that factory will find out what's really going on. They'll realize just how little the company cares about the environment. Uh, question everyone who might... Hmm. This is starting to look more and more like some much shadier conspiracy, not just industrial espionage. The Union of Steelworkers was just another of Walter's victims. They didn't even realize they were destroying Stolberg steel and that Walter was manipulating everyone. Everyone blames the Union and Walter got off the hook. They were framed. They were steered in a direction that would put the company under. Stolberg Water was handling Stolberg Steel's water. No further connections to Walter, though. Walter must still be in the city. Why would he ever leave? He was born here and he'll die here. Blah, blah, blah. He only wanted to destroy it, took control, and made everything worse for the workers. Mikhail couldn't stop him, and now everyone blames the Steelworkers Union. Alright, we're almost through this. Uh, Walter's diary was just full of fishing stuff and other useless junk. Nothing here. Lake Stahlberg. Walter's parents lived here. There's a cottage somewhere around here. One of Walter's friends lives here. He's dead. So everyone related to Jeff Walter is dying. Not just his competitors, but his friends. Walter, wait. Hammer Valley Dam. Walter knows I was hiding here and not safe anymore. My stash is still here, which we didn't find. The one he had presumably left to that, uh, to that park guard. I can't be here anymore. Walter knows too much and wants me dead. It was a cat and mouse game between two parties that may have also been uh, may have also been at risk. So Alex Hartman is desperate to avoid Jeff Walter, and Jeff Walter is desperate to avoid whoever's above him. Walter's secretary lives here now. That Walter has very nervous. Walter's secretary lives here now. Uh, he knows that Walter was very nervous before he disappeared. Was also talking to someone. I haven't heard from Kyle Rosenthal. He's currently living in his cottage at Lake Stahlberg. 
He still wants me to let him know when I finally find Jeff Walter and wants to be there when I meet him. I'm not sure if I can still trust him. He doesn't seem to care anymore. I talk to Rosenthal and he seems to doubt that I would ever find Walter. He doesn't trust me anymore. Not safe yet, but I'm- or not sure yet, but I might still have some use for him after we find Walter. If he's not willing to cooperate, then I have no choice but to replace him with someone who will. I knew the plot was going to thicken sooner or later. I knew it. Walter's sister's apartment. Okay, I th think that's everything. So this is all rich people sabotaging rich people. People who happen to own everything that makes the city tick. All at the behest of some mysterious third party. And all of it seemingly related to some train accident that happened all the way over there. Okay, well, we're trapped in here, so let's push the button. Let's just make sure I got all the pictures we can get. Never mind, understandable. Good day, sir. Can't play with this. Let's try and leave then. Well, that's that's a pickle. Trapped in this crumbling structure deep underground. Yes, Janice, is it my four o'clock? Hmm. Well, uh, let's make sure our last picture is a good one. So that was Infra. I thought it was a little shorter than I remember, but I think it's really cool how much we were able to explore off the beaten path. Oh, there's more. idea you've had all day. Chapter 6, Public Transport, which is kind of a funny title after what he just said. So it seems we somehow managed to survive that and well, all the information went up in smoke. But you know what? This is kind of cool because I think this was actually a cliffhanger for a long time. Because I believe this game's chapters, or at least its acts, released in parts over time. And so, for a while, people were actually left hanging on this one. Oh wait, we can get a picture of that. Oh look. Oh! So that stuff is intact, we just fell through the floor through the floor into another office. Sorry if I'm whipping the camera around a lot. The field of view is not especially wide and this is a dark game. But I guess, I guess we're still moving. For all the problems we solved, the city's gonna have a lot more with all the collapses that are taking place. And that's the kind of stuff that's gonna take years to rebuild. Up or down. Well, that ladder's not taking us anywhere. Uh, there's things still falling. Yep. Unless we do some impressive acrobatics, we're not getting out that way. None of that looks good. These things are infesting the entire sewer system. At first, I thought it was just the Bergman tunnels, but nope, they're everywhere. Yeah, boop. Uh, are we gonna have to try again? Are we gonna have to try again? 
Ah, uh, so it does work now. Maybe we had to hit a little higher than I thought. Or maybe it only works for that one in particular. Oh, that's opening now. Should I go lower? Hang on, I just, uh... This game is the master at making me fear whether I'm taking the progression path or the exploration path. <laughs> because in a game like this, either is just as likely as the other. Kittles. Or wait, kitties? Oh look, they're little cat faces, that's adorable. Don't like that. Why did you do that? Somebody was sleeping here. All the way down here, somebody was... Well, we know who. We know who! I wonder what the dynamite is for. Guess. I think we just lived it. So you did try to confront him. You killed Mikhail Rosenthal, which is strange. Rosenthal, the former owner of the Stahlberg Steel, actually was working with Jeff Walter? But then again, like, what we're starting to see is that, like, they may have been doing so under duress. Everything they were doing to sabotage the city infrastructure was directed. It's possible they they were being blackmailed, or maybe were being threatened with something worse happening to the city if they didn't. Maybe that body that we saw earlier was Rosenthal? Then again, this all would have happened decades ago, so I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Uh, no, we don't want to photograph any of this. Just the oh, just the barrel. That's clearly the worst thing here. Still eight packs of batteries left. Now, all of this looks equally as bad as anything else. I hope these images have GPS so that you can actually tell where any of this stuff is. Okay, we can unlock you from back here. Uh, but beyond that, oh, I see. We're probably meant to get over to that ledge. Or are we? No, there's nothing there. Oh, but if we could get there, we could come this way and go up and over. Uh, there's no getting inside this booth. All right, so how do we go about that then? Oh, you know what? If we close this again... That'll act as a bridge, I bet, and we can walk across. There we go. All right. This game is... I'm loving it so much. It's so cool to come back and have it be just as deep and detailed as I remember. The environments are straightforward, and yet there still manages to be so much hidden, so much optional. I know I'm missing a lot. I know I'm not getting anywhere close to 100%. I mean, we never got inside the boss's office in, uh, in the hacker's den. But even still, like, it's a game that is so saturated with content that... Anyone who loves to explore will find most things, but not everything. And there will always be so much replayability. <laughs> it's just, I'm trying to appreciate the fact that it's doing things with its design that makes it seem all very straightforward and very tight. 
But it's actually walking a tightrope constantly and doing so so flawlessly that you don't even realize that it's not walking on a sidewalk. Great, more sewers. Few sewers? Can we leave? Oh, we actually can! All right, Teenage Mutant really? Ninja Turtles. Some fresh air. Uh, go ninja, go ninja, go. That's nine packs of camera battery of all the doors that you could lock. It just had to be this one. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally starting to give more commentary on your situation. Before, you were just kind of accepting a lot of this passively. Uh, burner B under maintenance. Okay, so we'll have you on and you stay off. Maybe they should both be off? Why do I want burners on? Oh, well, I guess we'll figure out what we're supposed to be doing when we actually get to where these burners are located. Uh, it feels so gross to have these things slapping against my face, but I, I want to, uh, I want to stand up so I don't have to be so slow. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Hmm, we can open this. There were multiple someone sleeping here. And they're using this. Is this the burner? They're using this to... They're using this as a hot plate. That's unbelievable. But extreme ingenuity, I guess. That's nine packs of flashlight batteries. Uh, anywhere else we can go? What does opening this do? We can't. Yeah, we can't walk across that. Uh, maybe there's... Because I'm seeing something off to the side there. Yeah, we got to go that way. So how do we how do we stop this? Okay, so by turning that off. So why would we want any of these things on? Ow. Yep, still very much hot. I'm glad the game acknowledges that. Oh wait, but we might have to hurt ourselves again just to see if there's anything over here. No. All right. So where does this take us? Ah, the other side of that door. And now we can turn these things on or off at our leisure. We're just in a regular old building. Which means that, like, people were actually having the gall to set up their homeless camp in the basement of an active building. That's unbelievable. Uh, this must be the burner that was under maintenance. And they were hiding beer in it. That is hilarious. <laughs> this game really wants you to look into everything. A service to-do list. Investigate the cause of the interference on this crappy radio-based key system and fix it. And toilets. Fascinating. Okay, well, we've got our key now. But there's interference? What do you mean? Uh... Hmm. Okay, so we've got to find a way to fix that if we're to get through. Okay, so we can put it to a certain spot. Oh, maybe... Maybe these each have to be in sync? Yeah, maybe they all have to be off for any of them to work. And But nothing works for you. Hey! Hey, sir! Sir, can you please call someone, please? <laughs> See, normally a game like this, like, they would just not have 
people walking around, cars on the streets, because animations are hard and you don't need them for a game like this. But this is the least lazy game I've ever played. We still can't mess with you. What if we put you on like 108 and we put you on 108? Will that do something? No. What if we put you both on 100 then? Uh, well, maybe we just can't get out here. That would actually make sense. But we've definitely got to be able to get into here, right? All right, well, first things first, let's just have a look. I'm thinking that's just going to be a reason why we can't access every area in this building now. Uh, two industry. Wait, MW. MW. Wait, something Walter maybe? Like a, like a co-ownership? Auditorium. Can we take a picture of the wet floor? <laughs> we can actually tattle on the wet floor. That's hilarious. Oh, this whole place looks like it's in rough shape, actually, for as nice as the building otherwise seems. Mikhail Rosenthal. And who are you? There's no plaque beneath you. Dear MW, MWU board members, for your extraordinary work on defending the rights and interests of the blue-collar workers of Stahlberg, I'm gifting you this industrial-sized box full of delicious, sugar-free, Herbo Evil Bear candy packs. This box should be enough to last you the rest of the year. I hope you'll have some sugar-free, sweet moments and keep up the good work. I mean, can we have some? This must have just arrived, right? Ooh, look. They've got their own little garden. And all the fish are dead here as well. What is going on in this city? Ooh, there's a key. And we cannot interact with the laptop. Presumably, is she maybe like the current CEO? Also, can we... Oh, we can start it. No, we turned it off. Wait, so the projector is on, but not working. Uh... Oh. That's just like a speaker, then. Uh, strikes of the PTWU, Public Transport Workers Union, at the same time with the municipal elections. No metro or public transport available in the city. Prevents people from reaching the polling stations. Union members have access to polling stations and can choose favorable politicians. That is some good worker action. Ah, oh, that's actually an incredibly favorable situation. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we, like, move to next slides? Or is that the only one? Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like we can interact with the projector itself. Uh, but that is really, really cool. All right, so I believe all of this would have to be, like, ongoing now then, right? Uh, it's a story in the past and the present, which is a, a great way to tell what is essentially a story of, like, a generational curse suffered by this city going all the way back to World War II. Okay, no notes on the table. And an office in disarray, just like all the others. That's nine packs of flashlight batteries. Well, at least we found something here. What are you? Oh, you're a router. I think, or some kind of switch. We can turn you on and off, but why would I want to do that? Or maybe, maybe that's the source of the interference? I mean, I doubt it. 
You can get that as well. No. Actually, now they're just not working at all. No, now you're working. Wait. We can open each of you. You are not opening either. Two bathrooms broken. They couldn't even get the broken sign right. Oh, what a mess this place is. Ooh, but... We found the key to this office. Also a complete mess. Stolberg Steel. Our part. Walter. Former workers. Our members. Union fees paid. Contact press. Must clean up reputation. Note, check the archives for more information. Shelf S3. Fascinating. An article where the workers blame us for the collapse. Okay, so there's a lot of finger pointing going on here. And they're trying to do damage control, but S3. The question is, how do we get into the archives? We still have interference issues. And we can't go up here. Oh, you're open now. We must have needed the clearance of that card upstairs. Okay, so it said S3. Uh, however, we're going to be looking through all of these. I'll cut a lot of that out, I'm sure. So nothing over here. <laughs> I love these things. I mean, they're super annoying, I'm sure. But they're just so cool and old school, you know? They remind me of, like, old libraries. Probably because they are frequently found in old libraries, and new libraries, but to a lesser extent. That takes ten packs of camera batteries. Is that a pillow? Somebody was sleeping back here. Oh my god! I mean, I don't know if you'd be able to move these things with the weight of a person lying on one of the shelves, but just imagine having a co-worker and being like, all right, I'm taking a nap. I'm going over there. Close me in. Pick me up at three. Imagine getting forgotten. Uh, oh, wait. Is this going to be the S side? This this over here. S3. Interesting. Stahlberg Steel collapsed. Haven't we read this one already? Metal worker unions being blamed. All right, I'm going to read that on my own just to see if we've seen that before, but this should be the new thing. Operation Will of Steel by the Metalworkers Union. All right, comrades. October 13th, 1981. Mark that date up, because that will be the day when we strike at Stahlberg Steel, and we will strike hard. On that date, the corrupt ownership of Stahlberg Steel will fall into our hands. The workers are fed up and willing to strike. Our men and women in the facility are ready and waiting for our command. On the 13th day, the majority of the factory's management are away in an important corporate meeting at at Stolberg Steel headquarters, and the whole factory is entirely staffed by our members and common workers. The plan. Just before lunch hour, when the workers are hungry, one of our activists will announce that due to recent layoffs and cuts, we can't serve lunch today. Instantly after that, our activists will go and strike, chanting slogans that encourage the workers to join the strike. The hunger and cumulative anger towards the owners and the worsened working conditions will cause even the most devoted of Walter Loyalists to join the class struggle. This strike will allow us to tighten our grip on the giant money-making factory and possibly even shift its ownership to us. I'm impressed at your strategizing. That's really cool. I mean, it didn't work out for you, but the plan was always for it to not work out for you. Yeah, there's basically nothing in here we didn't already know. They closed abruptly after the strikes, like immediately after the strikes, filing for bankruptcy, and that doesn't really track after just a day of strikes. And now I'll just investigate the rest of this. Yep. It's, oh my god, it's all beer. It's all beer. Entry. Hey, hey, Metal... Metalmon? We sent you a gift. Best regards, BWU. P.S. We're the strongest union in this city. They sent quite a gift indeed. 
Yeah, the stuff the workers get up to in this city is honestly really inspiring. And if only they realized just what they were up against. Firewood. We're keeping firewood and fans. This really is just like the miscellaneous shelf in your Project Zomboid world, isn't it? Those are garbage bags. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I, I just love how every time I think, what's in that little cranny there? It rewards me with something. Cobwebs. Ah, oh, but you have so much to store. Why would you do this to yourselves? Just letting that space go to waste? Nothing here. Nothing here either. Ah, uh, there's like a there's a real humor gradient when it comes to these shelves. It's starting to get much less funny the further to the right we go. I don't think I can fit this in my pockets. We're ten out of ten again. That's oh well. We might as well top off I still then. Have nine packs of batteries left. And one more. We've been seeing you all over the place. Oh, I would totally take you with us if we could. But I think that's about all. Ooh, maybe we can get through here now. We cannot. Like, I've tried making sure that nothing else is on the same frequencies as that door. I've, I've, I've tried, like, everything. Unless we turn off you. Whoa, wait. Let's see, let's see if that works. It does. It does. Okay, we actually have to literally just turn off radios. And now maybe you'll work? Yes. Okay. Oh, I was right there. But... Here we are. The metro totally empty. The workers are probably on strike right now. And so all public transit is completely shut down. You guys, you're making this look so tempting. Is there any reason to come up here? Is there any reason to come up here? There is something here. Wait, I think I picked up a geocache. I'm at the metro station. That shortcut you sent me on was a fucking death threat. But I made it here in one piece. Just one problem. The station's closed and I think I'm locked inside. There's some kind of an angry mob outside. Oh shoot, I forgot about the protest. Uh, could you hang on a second? I might have some strings that I can pull. Yeah. Excellent. Wait. But that thing is gone now. I think that was a geocache. I'm going to reload a save so that it doesn't get talked over. Yes, it is a geocache. Another one. Well, <laughs> I guess I didn't miss much, though. Howdy, bro. <laughs> I want to be part of the protest, too. Oh, look at this. Metro not safe. I want to join this protest, because that's clearly the case. <laughs> Look, the radioactive hamburger. Yeah, that seems about in line for this city. Maybe there's other things I can find up here? Uh, that geocache was probably it, though. See, the thing is, this looked really tempting, putting the bench up against the platform like that. But I was always thinking, there's no they're not going to hide something just, like, in the bushes that you can't physically see. But now I'm scared because I know that they totally will. All right, Mark, you still there? Yeah. I called someone who works at the metro, and there should be a maintenance tram somewhere around there. He unlocked the door for you. Take the tram and get back to the office. We need your help in here. I'll be there soon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we enter this restaurant? Ooh, we can. Metro workers protest today. Yeah, I noticed. 
PTWU has also stated that the main reason for today's protest at the Central Railway Station is the worrying condition of the metro tunnels. They're in such bad shape that a major collapse could happen at any given moment. Don't I know it. A phrase which I've been saying a lot in this playthrough. Uh, anything here? Oh, wait. You are picking something up, but what? On law enforced coffee break. That's amazing. <laughs> There's an American flag on the on the counter. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's your forged health Everything inspection report. That is so funny. They tried to write out the the answers and replace them all with smiley faces. That is <laughs> I love this game. We're just we're we're just playing as a professional tattletale. Alright, uh, we could get a ticket from over here, it seemed like. Uh, nope. Not... Ooh? The keypad works. The keypad works. There's gotta be a reason for this. Uh, these, these are the little loops this game forces you into. Uh, pressing space, or... No, actually just going up to it, we automatically duck under the tape. This is interactive, too. Uh... But I don't know... It's not making a sound when I push anything. Maybe I have to, like, find a card somewhere? Nope. We can report that as well. Yeah, I'm just scrounging around now, looking for, like, a dropped credit card or something. I looked in the restaurant, it wasn't there. Maybe we have to go down a bit? Yeah, all of this just completely stopped. Oh, uh, that is so funny. Happy Funeral Services, a family company since 1889. Oh wow, this place is properly huge. Oh uh, no, there's so much detail down there that it kind of seems like we're maybe going to be going that way. But if there's going to be a dropped credit card somewhere, it's going to be on the platform somewhere. Hang on. Oh, there's an emergency stop button on these escalators. They really did put attention into everything. Oh, the elevators work. Alright, maybe we'll do something with that. Oh, we can put our Wait, card in. What was my pin number? Ah. Uh, one? Three? Okay. Three? Hmm. Oh Same. god, if it's- yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that was it. Wow, it actually worked. <laughs> well, we've got our ticket. Can we use this at the ATM? Oh, it's not just about finding things, this game's got systems. Uh, can we- Oh, see, these things didn't highlight before for me. Or at least I didn't put my mouse over them. Uh, insert your pin code. One, three, three, seven. Oh, enter. Now it's working. Select amount to withdraw. What should I withdraw? Now, full disclosure for every time I do this, I did actually Google this to see, like, is, is there, like, a particular amount that I should withdraw? And it said 1,000. Like, there, it's significant somehow later on that I withdraw $1,000. I don't know where or how, but I've got to do it. So we're going to be carrying a grand in cash on us. And I'm not particularly sure why. So we've done that. And now we got to do it again for another 500. I hadn't even noticed you before. <laughs> You're not a wall decoration. Did I get that? I think I accidentally hit the sensitive scroll wheel right as I took the picture, but I guess it still counted. 
Okay, so where was that door we could enter? It was down this way. I'm just going to assume that going onto the tracks will instantly kill me. And let's move on. Let's just close this so nobody gets any ideas. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a whole, like, under area where we can peek out at what's going on on the tracks. We can climb up here as well, but we can't get beneath the platform. Don't I need like any batteries. Already. Ow. I don't know why you didn't grip the ladder, but... Okay. Well, we don't need anything from up there anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. Oh, we're getting into, like, almost liminal spaces now. Although perhaps a bit more detailed than I'm used to. Man, these bears are everywhere. <laughs> but also, people are sleeping everywhere. Which, I'm really glad that that's actually not just a part of the story, but it's also dressed and shown everywhere. That a good portion of the city's population is poor or homeless. And, well, they find whatever niche they can carve out. Our chariot awaits. Uh, but first... No, we can't photograph that. Stolberg nuclear power production about to double. Blackrock nuclear power plant to build a third reactor by 2022. The new reactor will produce more energy than the old two combined. It says the Blackrock 3 reactor will finally begin operation in spring of 2018. The third reactor has been under construction since 2008 and was supposed to be finished in 2012, but because of multiple issues, the project has been prolonged time and again. Hmm. So it's like a brand new reactor, and possibly it's been sabotaged as well? Oh wait, hang on. Th this article on the side might actually impact us later. New metal detectors causing numerous problems at SIA. The new intelligent metal detectors that were installed at Stahlberg International Airport last week have been causing numerous different problems. Most notably, the new detectors seem to mistake few items such as DSLR cameras as possible weapons, causing false alarms. Interesting. Oh, but we are firmly dated on August 8th, 2016, or at least close to it. Uh, anything else here? Why is there a shovel? Why is there a shovel in the metro station? Anything else we can photograph? No. Ooh, but there is more further down the tracks. Switch control. Well, it sounds like something ground to life. Does that mean all aboard? Nice ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to ride this thing. Well, let's, uh, let's try and power this up. Gotta find the keys for this. All right, that makes sense. Uh, perhaps in here somewhere? Uh, now, if I were a key, where would I be? Probably on this desk or on a rack somewhere, so that ship has kind of sailed. Oh, it's behind the door. All right. Well, let's get moving then. Oh, this is exciting. Trains are so cool when you get to just like stand in your cabin watching the rails go by. How do we do this though? How do we operate it? How do we... Oh, there we go. 
Uh, trains are so cool. Trains are so cool, you get to just like stand in your box moving down the road. Or not even the road, it's like driving but without any of the responsibility. Well, actually probably with a lot of the responsibility, but you get the idea. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> and we get the achievement, better safe than sorry. Buy a metro ticket just in case. Well, I guess that proves we are discovering new things every time, huh? Is there any reason... Ooh, we can turn on the interior lights and the instrument lights and the headlights. Oh, it's really given us the experience. I just wish we could close the door. Alright, we're gonna... we're gonna take this to full throttle. Although, perhaps I should have the camera at the ready. Maybe there'll be things along the way. Yeah, so we are actually slowing you down a fair bit. Uh, once we notice something, it's kind of too late. That's not good. There we are. Uh, so we're gonna, we're not gonna be able to just enjoy this. We still have to do our job. We okay, can take it a little faster than that. Probably no faster. Oh look, traffic jam down there. We're actually really getting to appreciate, like, what makes the city tick. That is so cool. <laughs> Look, we've even... Uh, our vehicle has a balcony. This is the strength of trains, you see. But we should be ready to photograph any incoming stufficles. I don't think we can take it in reverse, can we? Oh, wait, 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 let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. We can't break. But we've got fires burning in the tunnels, a whole homeless camp. Oh, this reminds me of GTA 4. We're not gonna photograph this? This isn't something somebody wants to know about? Oh, we've gotta photograph that damage. Oh, this is like the work version of, like, a Disney World ride. Or, well, I suppose it's basically that Buzz Lightyear ride. The one that was right across from what used to be Alien? Yeah, Alien. Disney World had an Alien ride. I don't know what they were thinking. It was only there for a couple of years. I got traumatized by that thing. But you know what? It's actually not as bad as Stitch's Great Escape. Which is what they replaced it with. It was basically a reskin, a family friendly reskin, and it physically injured me some years later. There was a part in that where, like, the lights go out, and you're. you're. That was like a live show where, like, you know, you all sit in a circular theater, and there's like an animatronic in the middle, and the idea is that Stitch would escape from his enclosure, and it was like an interactive experience, but. It had a part where the lights were supposed to go out and the bars that come down over the seats, like, clamp down on you, like, really fast and hard. The idea is supposed to be that in the dark, Stitch has jumped onto your seat. Uh, but what ended up happening to me was it slammed down really hard on my collarbone and I couldn't turn my head for, like, a week afterwards. Should have demanded money. Would have gotten it, too. Uh, this is some, like, truly extensive infrastructure. I mean, the modern new stuff? Like, look at this. Maybe this is just some European thing that I'm too American to understand, but to see, like, multi-level subways? That's crazy to me. Look at these dark, winding tunnels. When it's just darkness ahead, it is sort of eerie. Okay, uh, any issues here? Doesn't seem so. But I'm seeing some kind of light up ahead. Oh, wait, there's something.
Did the game just hitch a little bit? Did we just move backwards just a bit? That's odd. I didn't quite get a good look, but that looked like a whole open tunnel. Maybe we should slow it down some. Hmm. Yeah, this just seems to be going through, like, regular cave, or at least there's no, like, siding on the walls. I don't know to what extent that would actually be done in real life. Although I suppose, like, if it works, it works. I mean, the fact that there's a walkway here suggests that we must be close to some kind of platform, right? Yeah, there we are. But this is not to be our stop. All of this, all of this, just to get back to the office. And you know, it's once again that I have to remind you all it, it has been a long time since we've seen that car, hasn't it? I guess they'll send someone to get it, but still. To be fair, drifting this far from where I came from is... Well, I, I was going to say it wasn't my fault, but it, it is. Like, this all started, this all got out of hand once I took that raft. If it weren't for the raft, I imagine I probably would have had some path back to the car. But no, Mark just has to go above and beyond in everything he does. I think that is actually part of, like, the Mark lore. <laughs> is that, like, he's unnaturally dedicated to his job. Uh. I still have line backs on batteries left. Not the problem. Uh, uh, brakes, 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 brakes! I should have seen that coming. Mark, you are, like, supernaturally just, like, aloof. It's unbelievable. Must be careful. Not to go too deep. Yeah, I, I guess it's good that we found that and not somebody else. I'm starting to think these protesters might have a point. Alright, uh, I don't know if this counts as too deep. I'm going to assume that it probably does. And let's have a look around. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Okay, so who knows where we actually are with relation to the office at this point. Perhaps we can get a picture of this from here? No. A hammer. Somebody's actually using a hammer as a makeshift, uh, as a makeshift door handle. And apparently it's not working because we can't use it ourselves. Locked. But we've got some stackable boxes here. There we go. Oh, we can grab a key from there. Thank you, open window. One of the first times architecture has actually favored us. That is, you know, I, I saw it coming. We can use you to probably turn off whatever, whatever steam is on the other side, which I never even saw. I'll worry about it later. Okay, so that gives us access to this area. But what do we do from here? Can't cross the middle because it's too deep. Uh, we really can't just put that life preserver around our waist. There's our designated crossing, I suppose. Uh, all kinds of trash ends up down here. Can't see anything beyond there. Ooh, there's another valve wheel. So maybe we can use that. I feel like the valve wheel itself isn't the problem. I feel like the problem is the fact that it can't securely attach to the mechanism inside. Another collapse here. Uh, there's a 
whole destroyed section of railway. And all kinds of bad barrels just strewn about. But we can't crawl through there. Anything here? No such luck. So let's put you not there. You do not actually go there. Alright, so we'll keep you guys here. We may have to do something with that pile of bricks over yonder. Now I don't know which is which, but that shouldn't make a difference. But I do have the key to that door over there. Presumably. There we are. In fact, it's the same office. How did they manage to lock their keys in the office? You can get down here. You're going. Oh, I bet we can use the valve wheel in here somewhere. Uh, maybe there's some place we can attach it. I don't see natural gas. No, you're still going. That's not good. All right, let's follow this pipe then. Back to here. Oh, maybe we can... Oh, we can actually get inside. Okay, that would explain that. Uh, so you are right here. And... Plunk. There we are. Good as new. And point of no return. Level transition airlock? Sure seems like it. Did I call it or what? Oh boy. Whole lot of flooding here. Well, let's, uh, wade in. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Oh, you weren't counting the flooding, you were counting that? Remember, I've got a thousand dollars in my pocket. I hope my jacket is waterproof and it's in a zipped container. Uh, there's that. This whole place... This whole place is in abysmal shape. Oh no. You're gonna ask me to do this? At great risk of electrocution, might I add. Uh, let's see what's down this way. You know, fun fact, this game is like so visually busy, both with the noise overlay on the screen and with the seemingly huge amount of like post-processed sharpening and the grittiness of the textures, each of these recordings comes out to be like 150 gigs. Uh, not getting through there. Just as well, that whole area looks pretty spooky. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, A2 is open. But, uh, so A1, A2, B1, B2, so we want you, right? Nah, nah. C2, it says, is lock, but there's a mysterious C3 that doesn't actually exist and isn't toggleable. Maybe all of these should be on except C2? No? The problem I'm having is that I don't understand what the desired result is here. Like, you would think green means go. It says control unit, so that's control unit, motor, lock, but what, what would I want with that? Even if lock is enabled, nothing happens. Well, actually, wait. Because A2 presumably wouldn't even, like, work if A1 isn't also enabled, right? And then I guess we also need probably C2, assuming it's not offset, right? And then we would probably need B2 in order for the motor to work, right? No. 
Well, I guess maybe without C2 because of the lock. And there we go. Okay, that made sense. It's just we had to look at... We had to look at it as, like, okay, one enables the next. All right. In we go. And at least these guys are neat with their bottles. Ooh, there's a note here. That crazy Robin guy was finally was finally fired. I can't believe they let him work here for so many years. That was probably because no one was checking up on him. I really hope he stays unemployed. I can't stop thinking about all those huge problems he caused to our freshwater systems. I'm not sure who will keep those Bergman tunnels in check now. I hope someone I hope someone will, even if they are death traps. I doubt anyone wants to work there. You've probably heard all the stories about those tunnels. Like the homeless people who stayed there and were mysteriously... It says mysteriously captured, or at least that's what it looks like. Anyway, here's your money. Just leave the package here and I'll pick it up later. This will probably be the last one. Your stuff is definitely a lot better than that tasteless slop they call Osmo Loot. My boss asked me to work at Pit Pithith Water Treatment Plant from now on, so I won't be around here anymore. Given the state all that stuff was in, I don't really feel like you have any room to talk about Robin. And again, I've started to suspect that Robin may have been sabotaging things instead of incompetent. I'm just gonna have one last look around for anything. Oh, wait, I found something. It found... it had something for a second. What did you find? Oh, right here. All right. Well, let's see just where we've ended up. It seems like there was a whole smuggling chain, even even including workers of these plants. Ooh. This looks like something out of, like, Mist or even Amnesia the Bunker. What is this place? It seems like we're back into functioning infrastructure. Uh, but then again, these tunnels are quite long. Look at this. Look at the whole length of this. Oh god, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. It may look... Uh, this may look modern, but I don't trust it one bit. Aha! <laughs> uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh! Uh, yep, 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 yep. Nope, no, 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 there was something else, there was something else, yep. Uh, that's not opening. That's not, mmm, none of this is good. All this is bad. What do we do? What do we do? We can maybe crouch under there? But why would we want to? How would that benefit us? What do we need? So like, what? Oh, 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 emergency, 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 override. Oh, Indiana Jones, this thing, Indiana Jones, this thing, Indiana Jones, this thing, holy Christ. This is not the kind of game where I expected to run from a fireball down a hallway. Well, at least the fire alarms are working. Mark, shut up. Oh, look at this place. Uh, maybe maybe we stay here and wait for the fire department to show up? I mean, I guess the blast doors are doing their job. Literally. Well, this looks like a whole thing and a half. And I think, looking at my record time, it's gonna have to wait until next time. We learned a lot in this episode. We learned that this does indeed go deeper. We learned that all of this is still very much relevant in the modern day. And well, we learned that something's coming to a head. And if you like this video, 
please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.